Go back, go back. Go, go, straight, straight, straight. We're developing games that interact with our actual world. You're actually like living the game. Does it make people feel like they're flying? Sometimes they're like, oh, but I'm actually scared of heights. We're using a motion capture system so that you have the most realistic movement possible. You create a whole library of movement for the avatars in the game. Photorealistic digital humans for your game or experience. This revolution is happening right now. The Game Developers Conference is back with a packed convention hall and some of the big names in the game world that weren't here last year. For developers, it's a chance to learn about the latest tools for building virtual worlds and how to build bridges to get there from this world. In the beginning, games looked like this. It was the golden age. There was the Oregon Trail, Nintendo, and Super Nintendo. We thought these graphics looked like real life. Now those games are museum pieces, literally. From 84, that's the same year I was born. Rob Curl is the historian for Oakland's Museum of Art and Digital Entertainment. We hope to kind of inspire that next generation by helping them look back in a way that's useful. And that's why he's here, showing off these slices of history at a conference about gaming's future. People had to be creative in a different way when they were making games for these older systems. Back in the day, you couldn't just pick up an instrument to make music for a video game, but now... We showed up and we're playing music. A jam session in the middle of the conference floor could inspire the soundtrack for a new virtual adventure. I've never met any of them before, but we decided to start playing and it's really made my whole week so far, honestly. There's nothing I'd rather be doing. Transporting the sounds of the analog world into the digital world. And the movements, too, with high-speed infrared cameras. To measure their position in 3D in real time so that we can capture their exact movements. Building virtual characters that move like humans, because in a way, they are. We would then be able to get pro-level skaters to have their own signature tricks within the game. Not just skaters, but dancers. In this hip-hop performance about two brothers who build video games just started as, hey, we should put a video game in the show. That would be interesting, creative storytelling. And then it was like, no, we should actually make a real game. In fact, they've made two games based on the show called Frey, performed here at the conference before going on tour overseas. They're all professional dancers. They have danced with the biggest music stars in the world. And if you're jealous of their moves. I wish I could dance like that. Well, now you can because some of those moves were captured and put in the games. You turn on music and you ask them to freestyle, so you create a whole library of movement for the avatars in the game. Avatars are becoming more real than ever. Hey, everybody. Wow, it's great to be back after four years. Across the street from the conference, Epic Games unveiled new tools to make and animate photorealistic humans. Oh, is that me? Yeah, this is what we refer to as your metahuman DNA. From a performance captured on an iPhone, an actor can become just about anyone. I needed to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. But for players to become those characters, the tools are still evolving. Ready to go. Some of the latest tech, a vest and gloves filled with tiny motors. Wow, that's crazy cool. They let you feel when you touch something and when something touches you. I'm shooting lasers out of my hands now. Oh, I just got hit in the head. Yes. In the metaverse, you might be running around or running away, but now you won't need room to run. You're stationary, but you have infinite movement. Just move your feet and PNI's high-tech swivel chair does the rest. When you press the pedal down, it goes forward. When you press it backwards, it will go backwards. And while you're moving, time stands still. You feel like you're actually live in the game. If we don't cut them, they keep playing. But time limits are a fact of life, even for the characters in Fray. The brothers start entering game jams, which are these 48-hour game contests to build a game over the course of a weekend. And it's real-life game jams where you might get an early look at the next bridge to the metaverse. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Back, 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 back. Welcome to Alt Control, short for Alternative Control. Controllers. No. Grocery Trip is a shopping cart simulator. We created this whole installation just to play our game. This is my son. He's shopping with me. I gotta punch customers. Racing around the store, punching customers who get in your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it. It was inspired by real life. A guy at the shopping center actually stopped in front of me and I was like, oh my God, this is so annoying. I wish I could punch you right now. And I was like, oh my God, that would actually be a good game. A lot of this year's alt control games were built by students for game jams, then rebuilt to withstand the abuse of a week-long conference. Originally, it was just made out of cardboard. 
But now, Stumped has the unmistakable sound of real wood. Because we wanted people to feel that they were the lumberjack in our world and they were hard at work chopping those logs. It's all in the quest for a more immersive experience. We wanted the players to actually feel almost like they're actually paragliding in a sense. Even if it's downright ridiculous. You essentially play golf with a toaster, you use the dial on the front of the toaster to move and then you pull down on the lever to shoot. Oh, and instead of a golf ball, you're flinging a fish. Yes. Of course, with all these new ways to get to strange worlds, it's just a matter of time before strange characters come visit our world. She's very approachable. Like Bobka, the grandma from the future with her robotic cat. What's your name? This is Nushi. Hi, Nushi. Or maybe like Zorg. Okay, forward. Uh, yeah. Forward, march. The alien invader whose avatar is steered by two people under one giant hat. It's been really great watching people make friends in line as they find someone to play with. It's a hat that's also a networking opportunity. Making friends in the real world to conquer the virtual world. Watch out for the wall, watch out for you're the good, wall. Good, 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 good. Uh, okay, hard good. left, hard left. And though it won't win awards for its graphics, Rob Curl reminds us there's more to games than that. Games from the 80s are just as fun today. And the dog laughs at me. That's something that brings a smile to every single person's face that tries this game.